Hello, I'm Bruce Fumi. It's the 10th of February 1306 and welcome to today's episode of This Day in Scottish History. I'm in Perth, standing in front of the Magistrates Court of West Australia to bring you the news there's been a murder. Details at the moment are still sketchy. Here on the left is the deceased, formerly known as Red John Cummin, now known as Dead John Cummin, and in the right is R Robert the Bruce, Earl of Carrick. He's the guy with the big sword. This is blood. The killing happened today in Dumfries Abbey, and given the fact that this murder happened on holy ground, the Pope in Rome has gone proper mental. He took no time in excommunicating Robert the Bruce in a tweet issued this morning. In a translation of the statement from its original Latin, the Pope has said, I'm fair feeling, so I am. If that murdering wee scumbag thinks he's getting back into my church, he's off his head. Strong words from the pontiff there. Followers of this programme will know that the Bruce family and the Cummins family have had bad blood between them since the Cummins supported John Balliol in his claim to the throne uh, against uh, Bruce's grandfather, also known as Robert the Bruce, in 1291. Uh, since then, there's been a frosty relationship between Bruce and Cummin. However, seven years after that, they were both made guardians of Scotland after William Wallace's attempt to wrest Scotland back from subjugation to the English crown. Uh, both uh, Bruce and Cummin subsequently uh, got back into the good graces of Edward I of England. Uh, however, uh, rumours have abounded for some time that Robert the Bruce was planning an attempt to regain independence for Scotland. Uh, it appears that John Cummin was passing information back to Edward Longshanks and in a meeting in Dumfries Abbey today that was intended to clear the air, all that happened was there was blood in the flare. Uh, there are competing claims as to how this incident started uh, but it seems that an argument erupted when Robert the Bruce called John Cummin a treacherous, lion, slimy grass. Uh, blows were finally struck when John Cummin said, I, and I shagged your maw when she was still your paw. Uh, a spokesman for the Bruce family, who asked to be known as a spokesperson, has said that this type of crude, homophobic, uh, transgender stereotyping is no longer appropriate in modern-day Scotland. And Robert Bruce, in an attempt to put his foot down, stuck the boot in. Uh, Edward I, who is the de facto ruler of Scotland at the moment, has made Robert the Bruce an outlaw. Wanted statues have been erected at Bannockburn, Stirling Castle, Edinburgh Castle and various other places around the country. Uh, people should be on the lookout for a tall, statuesque, heroic man in chain mail. Uh, members of the public have been asked to approach this man with caution as he may be travelling with a large and very determined spider. Given the fact that anyone can now kill him on sight, the options for Robert the Bruce seem limited at this point. It's been speculated that he intends to set himself up as king of a newly independent Scotland and a representative of the Bruce clan has asked people to come to their support. Uh, a very close uh, contact with the Bruce family has suggested that they have the support of 45% of the people, although that's expected to rise as the implications of Brexit become clearer. Uh, a sighting uh, has been reported of Bruce on the way to Schoon, uh, close to Perth. And for clarity, I mean the real Perth in Scotland, as the place I'm standing won't exist for another 500 years. But the CGI graphics are brilliant, aren't they? Some have claimed that a Schoon inauguration is unlikely, given that in uh, 1296, Edward Longshanks very publicly uh, stole the Stone of Schoon, although some English commentators have claimed he only took a scone. It's very difficult to know what will happen from here, 
but right now the prospects for Robert the Bruce look very bleak. If anyone has information concerning Robert the Bruce, uh, authorities have asked that you place that information in the comment section below. Given the urgency of this situation, uh, we would ask that everyone share this clip as widely as possible immediately after watching. Uh, if you would like further updates on the situation, then please click the subscribe web link which will either be above or below the screen or the button which should appear at the top of the screen. This has been Bruce Fumi in the future reporting on this day in Scottish history.